welcome to a brief overview of DB Artisan. We have a lot of momentum with these type of products now, these productivity tools like DB Artisan and Rapid SQL with more and more people working remotely. And so uh, look for some new momentum here with webcasts and recordings. And I'm showing you the current version, which is 17.x, and look for a newer version later this year. And then there's lots of resources available for you. So from the idera.com homepage, you have the products drilled down to DB Power Studio. And then here's the DB Artisan homepage. So we'll go over the strengths of DB Artisan here in terms of connecting to multiple environments from a single user interface, DBA focused areas uh, for DB Artisan. DB Artisan is a DBA tool. So you're looking at space, performance, user permissions and privileges, and then the ability to migrate or move objects or data, and then pinpoint bottlenecks and, and resolve issues. So these are all strengths of DB Artisan as a productivity tool for DBAs. And then you also have uh, the different licensing options. You can you can license DB Artisan standalone, or it's also part of a DBA bundle called DB Power Studio. So you have uh, different areas of information here. And, and we'll introduce those as well. So you also have product documentation under the resources product documentation. So these are great starting points. There's a getting started guide and a user guide for DB Artisan. Okay, so I have a few slides just to anchor the presentation, um, and then we can uh, look at these a little more closely. So, uh, again, here are the highlights that I just mentioned, so we'll, we'll, we'll cover those within the time we have here together. Here are the latest platforms supported by DB Artisan. So you can see it's state current. Uh, they added MySQL 8 recently, SQL Azure, um, SQL Server 2019, Oracle 19. So uh, staying current with these latest platforms, and then... Um, there's different drill down components there as well. So I mentioned that DB Artisan can be licensed standalone, right? And similar to Rapid SQL can be standalone, or there's these bundles for developers and DBA. So the DBA bundle for Power Studio would give you all of the products that are were mentioned on that, that website, and we'll show them here again in the list. But then there's a DB optimizer component and change manager component. So um, you'd have those th all in, in one for the DB, DB Artisan DBA bundle, Power Studio DBA edition. Okay, so starting point would be connecting to your databases and the database navigator. So that's a pop-out menu. I have it hidden and I drive from the Explorer menus. But under data source, register, this is the starting point for using DB Artisan. Select the platform and this is a wizard that would step you through connecting. So a lot of development's gone on here to help, it, help you connect very easily, depending on which platform you choose. Here, if I choose SQL Server, for example, I'll see what's the host name for SQL Server, what's the IP address. For Oracle, you'll, it'll ask for things like your SID or service name. So depending on the platform, we've saved time and helped in terms of the development steps. Then you have this welcome page that I like to show. So it's just a, a, a view available under the um, view menu is the, the welcome page. And this has hyperlinks to recordings and other areas on the home page. So kind of a nice starting point. But you can dock or undock the the data source navigator and then here's what's called the explorer view and so data source explorer this is where you can take action on these these objects or data sources so here's say a sql server drill down where i can drill into my sql server connection and then i'll see filters server storage security databases performance so drill into databases and sql server i see my object types if i was in say db2 or oracle you might see schemas a little differently Right? So schema, drill to my schema, then I see my schema grouping, see my objects that way. So you have flexibility in terms of which platform you're looking at. And then, then there's actions you can perform, right? So here I could drill in and, and drill into, say, an Oracle environment, look at all my tables in that environment, and then take action on those, those objects. So here I could just right click on an object. There's create, alter, drop on these tables. I could multi-select multiple objects, and then there's a reduced subset of actions you can so driving from the right click on the navigation tree can be very helpful um, or you have toolbars as well if I expand the, the the view menu there's all the different toolbars that are available so DB Artisan is very vibrant and, and very robust so you have lots of ways to customize the look and feel for yourself um, in terms of the navigation tree and then depending on where you're drilling down into um, there's different actions you can perform for DBAs, the, the power areas are the performance drill down and the analysts drill down. So there's capacity analyst, performance analyst, space analyst, 
for advanced DBA functionality. And then depending on where I'm, I'm connected or, or, or what, I've, what I've selected here. So here's say an, an explore review for SQL Server. And then the dynamic menus change. So the utilities menu for SQL Server will expand to different utilities for that platform. If I was in say my Oracle connection and then expand the utilities menu, you can see the list expands. So depending on where you are, the menus are dynamic and change. And then these are some powerful areas as well. So we'll talk about those. But after connecting, maybe you'll 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 execute SQL just to make sure you're, you're connected properly. So you have, of course, a SQL editor and then object editors. But here, if I just maybe opened up a SQL editor, executed a SQL statement, I can run that with the green run arrow, bring back a results tab. And then there's also the query execution plan icon, and that would allow a graphical build of your execution plan. So depend on the platform, show plan, execution plan, explain plan. Right? These are all core areas for DBA looking at improving performance of individual SQL. And so I'd like to start just by pointing out those areas within the SQL editor. And then in terms of the navigation tree, I mentioned some of these more advanced drill downs. And so the analyst drill downs are, are always of interest. And so there's a performance analysts, which would show some of the, the areas you might expect in terms of memory, space, storage. And so that enables itself in a, in a new menu as well when you, when you drill down into that page. So these are the advanced areas that a DBA would drill down into when you highlight the performance analysts, right? Then you also have this, the space analysts, right? So if I drill down into the space analyst tab, then that has space information and then actions I can perform there and that menu expands. So dynamic menu and usually you're finding new things as you use the tool. So that's what's great about a tool as powerful as DB Artisan. You have you know, different ways of using icons or here in the lower portion, I see data files, table space, map, tables. So you have lots of actions you can perform in different ways that you get comfortable with. And then even capacity analysts will allow you to do some analysis and, and a wizard here would step you through um, setting capacity thresholds. So we're diving right into some of the advanced features, but that's, that's the goal here is to let you know how much is in DB Artisan and then of course, you know, there's there's details and documentations that you can step into as well. So uh, schema extraction, migration, publication. Here's some Oracle utilities like data pump um, and then Oracle drill downs. Or if I was, say, looking at a, a SQL server environment, then you can see those utilities listed there. Um, tools menu has lots of helpful utilities. Um, there's an import data wizard. Um, there's the options for DB artists in general, so you can specify different ways of, of, of performing tasks. And then again, here's the analyst menu that you can drill down into. So right click on your objects and there's, there's actions you can take that way. Um, and then, you know, the utilities are very powerful, right? So schema migration, this would be a wizard. So it's a seven step wizard that would step you through uh, moving objects from one environment to another. Schema publication or documentation, this would step you through. Here's a six step wizard for, for publishing, publishing different object types and, and create an HTML report, for example, for those users. Um, and then you have, you know, other helpful areas in the, in the navigation tree that you might expect. So for storage and SQL Server, I see backup devices, data file, log files, and say Oracle, I'll see table spaces, redo files, control files. So depending on the, the environment you're, you're connecting to and executing in, there's different drill down areas that you would be interested in. Again, you can customize and, and, and make the look and feel of the product for yourself and really save time by, by having access to these different areas all in one tool. So where in you know, SQL Server environment, you have to use Management Studio for some of this. For Oracle, you have to use some of the Oracle packs. And so this is all bundled in a single licensed utility for DB Artisan. Okay, so you can download trial versions from the, the product site and then look for you know, more extensive uh, webcasts and then you can have custom demonstrations set up for yourself uh, that can be coordinated through your sales rep. So different ways to reach out to us. And then it, we did want to just mention some of the other tools in the bundle here. And so Rapid SQL is really a subset of DB Artisan. So yeah, everything in Rapid SQL is in DB Artisan. Maybe a code code review feature is, but you can turn that on anyway. So really, if you're a DBA, you'd use DB Artisan and have all those features. Rapid SQL would be missing these DBA performance drill downs. But the DB Optimizer and Change Manager make up the DBA edition of Power Studio. And so there are the highlights for DB Artisan. Uh, but DB Optimizer will allow you to pinpoint performance issues in the database 
and then rewrite SQL and tune SQL. So those are powerful areas. Uh, Change Manager will allow you to, to set up jobs that schedule comparisons for database parameters or schema parameters or schema objects and then comparisons and then data comparisons, right? So let's briefly take a look at those products. Um, again, they can be licensed together. What's nice about um, the integration points is the, the connections are migrated. And so here in DB Optimizer, notice I have the same type of navigation tree. And so, so DB Optimizer has some core features that we'll mention. One is a profiling or collection piece that captures performance over time. And then the other is a tuning job. So here's a collection of SQL that I can replay, or I could, I could execute a SQL statement and then bring it into a tuning engine where I could generate alternatives, do comparisons. So here you can see it generated 137 rewrites, has indexes to explore, and then there's an analysis page where you can do you know, visual representations of, of the data accessed within that SQL statement. So this can be helpful for folks newer to SQL tuning and SQL optimization. Then there's some other areas within this product, SQL load testing. Um, so very valuable and a nice complement to DB Artisan in the Power Studio bundle. And then Change Manager also extends functionality um, where you have these core features of configuration archive and then a comparison. So comparing, say, database parameters from one environment to another. So here, here would be an example of, of where I can compare, say, settings from one, one configuration environment to another. And so, so Change Manager has these type of green run arrows and, and, and then the, the ability to navigate those type of comparisons. So here's a configuration comparison, and then you can be notified on differences. Here's a schema archive, and then comparison where I'd perhaps want to see, okay, well, you know, where where are objects the same, right? Where do they match? And then perhaps generate a report on that. And then here's a table data comparison where you can see how many rows match or what rows were different. And then this can be automated with results as well. So change manager, DB optimizer, really round out the the DBA bundle that makes up DB Power Studio. And so, as I mentioned, you know, we have a lot of momentum with these products. Look for future webcasts, uh, and then those will be posted to our IDERA homepage. And then um, we also have a uh, IDERA Day, uh, IDERA Live conference uh, coming up shortly uh, in about three weeks. So, this is a day of seminars where you can join and, and learn other solutions from IDERA. Okay, so thanks everybody for joining. Once again, the product homepage for, for DB Artisan is under products, DB Power Studio, and then you'll see the list of products here, and you can just right click and, and drill into the product homepage. Here you can download and use a trial version and um, access through a 14 day trial key, or reach out to your account manager if you need um, and wanted to help evaluate for, for other users or um, an extended time period. Okay. Once again, thanks for joining, and we look forward to partnering with you. You know, a lot of us need these tools more than ever, and um, productivity and saving time, reducing errors, uh, improving accuracy is really the theme with these uh, database productivity tools from Idera. Thanks for joining.